solid oil swindle, uh, was orchestrated by Anthony Tino the Angelus, Allied Crude Vegetable Oil Refining Corporation. Uh, so, but he ended up, so he found a loophole, exploited the loophole in the trading system to, to infiltrate the value of his soybean oil inventory. So DeAngelis would inflate his storage tanks by filling them mostly with water and, and then topping them off with just a thin layer of soybean oil on top. So the inspectors, of course, you know, inspectors, they just, they, they just test the surface and, and then they certified that these tanks are full of actual soybean oil. I, I, I would be worried, like probably not going to get away with this, but hey, I guess he knew the inspectors. <laughs> Now, with these fraudulent inventory certifications, he obtained uh, warehouse receipts, which he used as collateral to secure massive loans. DeAngelis then used those loans to speculate in the soybean oil futures market, driving up prices artificially of his own products and then profiting from the inflated value of his inventory. I mean, pretty genius. Good on you, because I, I, I wouldn't have the cojones to, to, to do all that. But now at, at the peak, he was able to obtain, obtain loans and line of credit worth $180 million in, in this is in the 60s, right? Well, equivalent to about, about $1.5 billion today. 